The derivative of these two functions look the same, but there's a technical difference, and it's not just off by a constant, so check this out. First, for the inverse hyperbolic tangent, we can look at this in the ln form, which is going to be 1 half ln of 1 plus x over 1 minus x, and now we can write this down as 1 half and then d dx, and then right here we have ln of the top, and then minus ln of the bottom, and now we are ready to differentiate, and we will just get 1 half, and in parentheses, this is going to give us 1 over 1 plus x, and then minus, this is going to give us 1 over 1 minus x, and don't forget the Chen Du though, multiply by the derivative itself, which is going to be negative 1, so let's make that positive, and now let's just combine the fractions. We have 1 minus x here, and of course let's do the same on the top, and then we have 1 plus x, and do the same on the top. And now check this out, we have 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then negative x plus positive x, they cancel out right here, and then 2 over 2, they just cancel out to be 1, so all in all we will just have 1 on the top over, this times that for the denominator, which is going to be 1 over minus x squared, and then right here we are done, and now do the same thing for this guy, which is going to be the ddx, and then look at the ln form for the inverse hyperbolic tangent, which is 1 half ln of x plus 1 over x minus 1. This looks really similar to that, okay? Be really careful. This right here is going to be 1 half, and then we will get 1 over x plus 1, and then minus 1 over x minus 1, and of course get the common denominator again. So this is x minus 1 here, and then x minus 1 here, and then x plus 1 here, and x plus 1 here. And now check this out, okay? Here we have x minus x, so they cancel out, and then this is negative 1 minus 1, which is going to be negative 2, and then again they reduce, but here we will have negative 1 on the top over this time stuff for the denominator, which is x squared minus 1, and you see we can actually bring the negative down, and you will get 1 over 1 minus x squared. So you see that they look the same, but what's the difference though? The domain is the issue. This is only good for when x is in between of negative 1 and 1. This right here is good for if x is greater than 1 or if x is less than negative 1. So be really, really careful.